Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Kitty are back with some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the previous video, we made our way. Uh, we did a lot of side content. Uh, we finished uh, the Master Koga side content. We did the mayor election for Antenno Village. And yeah, some good stuff. Uh, now we're actually going to be doing story. But before we go do story, I do want to take care of a shrine first um this shrine is a little annoying but eh, we'll take care of it well it's not annoying but it's like i just want to get to it you know uh and that's that that shrine right there and you probably see the other blue mark i have right there that's for this little platform here which i can't get to even if i'm like up there well maybe i can't maybe there's a way up there that i could get there but off screen i went around to all of those um all these things um, a lot of them. I I'm, I'm think I'm still missing at least, like, besides that one that I have marked, I think I'm missing either one or two more of them. And some of them, actually, uh, like this one, for example, when you land on the thing, it just goes plummets down. I think that happened to at least three other ones. So, yeah. And the good news is, when you have it translated, it will actually tell you which one's got, got deciphered, so then you don't accidentally go to it again. However, it doesn't do that until afterwards. So... I have to wait for all those other ones, but I'll go. I'll take care of those late. We'll take care of those in another part when we're not doing story, because we're going to be focusing on story uh, this time around. Because it's been a while, so we're going to be doing story. But first, I want to get this shrine, so then I can get another heart container, and then I can, uh, yeah, I want to go from there. What else did I do off screen? I think I did... Yeah, I did explore a little bit of the depths. Um, yeah, there's actually a lot of the ones up here. Like, there's definitely places up here that's like... Like, this area right here, you know, there's a shrine. There's areas that, like, I traveled, like, close to those areas for shrines, but I never... I didn't do them. Because I don't... I think unlike... In Breath of the Wild... I think in Breath of the Wild, as long as you just, like, opened the door... Or something you could teleport straight back to it. However, I don't think that's the case in this game. I think in this game, you have to finish it before you can teleport to it. I could be mistaken, but I don't think I am. So yeah, I just wanted to do this one quickly just because... I mean, there's other shrines that we saw, but... We have this one, so. Is that, is that a uh, Zonai construct? Oh no, 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 that's the thing. That's the thing from above. Yeah, that was also, like, another reason why I wanted to do this one, because, like, the thing landed, like, right close to it. So I'm like, eh, I might as well do it, do it you know? Moving the spheres. Okay, so we had one similar to that. This in the last video, was it? Or a couple of videos ago. I I kind of remember it. I, I don't know if it was last video or the previous video. Uh, the, the previous video or the one we just... You know what I mean. Oh, hello.
And that's the treasure. This might be a weird one where I have to do the recall. Let's see. All right, uh, so we're making our way over here now. Was there a shrine thing? Not a shrine, but like a statue, a god statue here that I could pray to? I don't know. Oh, I can smell the rain. I have my patio door open. Luckily, the, the rain's not coming in that way, so... Zava Zaba, um, that was a perfect bazaar, if I say so myself. And I don't think I've seen you around here before. Good on you for saying hello. Who are we? We're the first men who will officially do business with the Gerudo, the Vol Caravan Squad. If you too want to go to Gerudo Town, you would do well to make friends with us. Vol Caravan Squad. We're a group of merchants and friends who long dreamed of doing business in Gerudo Town. Oh, and Vo is the Gerudo word for man. Bo is the word to know. If you don't understand at least one word in their language, the girl will never accept you. And we should know. We've spent years here trying to curry favor with them in any way we could. They finally trusted us with protecting the western entrance to Karakara Bazaar. I've lost count of the number of times I've been swatted with the flat of a guard sphere. Spear? They mistake me for some lowly opportunist. Oh. Town is located straight out of this gate. It's a town made by Gerudo for Gerudo, which means it's full Gerudo. And to us. <laughs> That means it's a utopia. Oh. Captain, not so loud. We're going to give the Gerudo a bad impression of us. Hmm. So sorry, Robston. It just slipped out. Ah. Anyway, Gerudo have the law for being males from entering their town. Keeping us shut out only makes us all the more curious, though. I mean, that's just common sense. Oh, boy. Ah. We're hoping to raise the Vogue Caravan Squad's likability by get only rescuing the Gerudo ladies from the Sand Shroud. But the sound shot doesn't just block our vision, it confuses our compasses too. We've lost, we got lost in about five seconds. Then it was the Gerudo ladies who ended up gallantly rescuing us. Still, maybe if we prove our muster as gate guards, Gerudo Town will make an exception and welcome us as heroes. <laughs> yeah, get a load of this orb. Seems really odd and real expensive, don't you think? I hear there's someone in Gerudo Town who's investing in all ancient whatchamacallits. So once I get into town, I'm planning on finding somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. <laughs> uh, you know the sound shroud makes compasses stop working, right? You're not really thinking about trying to push your way through, are you? 
It's more dangerous right now in the cold of the night. Just don't do it. it. Took years and years of regular visits, but we're finally starting to, co to convince the Gerudo that they can depend on us. So please, I beg you, don't ruin by causing any trouble being reckless. Okay. Yeah, I, I, if I remember correctly, I believe that, um... I believe that, um... There was something similar to this in, uh... In the first game with the comp- with the desert... Fucking with your map. Can I actually, like... Nope, I can't place a pin here, so I'm just gonna... Keep on going, I guess. These shock boots? Whoa, what the fuck is that thing? <gasps> Redead! Redead, 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 Redead. That's a Redead. That is a Redead. Oh. A Gibo? Well, thank God I turned around. I thought it was a fucking Redead. Fall down there. Oh, it's a ring ruin. There's a fire there. The question is, who lit it? I think that's a Gibo right there. Oh, it's a black Bokublin, so not as bad, but yeah. I see something sparkling over there. I took a picture of these already, right? Yeah. Both fruit. <laughs> Moth Gibo. Yeesh. Ow. That's not working. That's not working. Gibo bone. I thought for sure these would be re-deads. Flip turned upside down here. There's 
Another Gibo. There's something over here, so. This is some kind of ruins. Oh, let me put on a different weapon, too, by the way. What's my weakest weapon? Technically, this, I suppose. I was about to say, oh, that's someone bringing the thunder down. That's our girl. Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. Hey, how's it going? It's you. Changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, you look awesome! Riju, Chief of the Gerudo! But then, you always show up in unusual times. And then this oh. happened, and then that happened. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. So the vanished right in front of you. And now you've come here looking for clues. Hmm. Link, I understand how you're feeling. So does my a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. Yeah, in spite of some lucky miracle that I made my way here. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. <laughs> It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we've never seen before began attacking. We're calling them... Gibdos. Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They're slow, but they still make investigating the sand shot difficult. Were you watching just now? Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be an effective weapon against the Gibos. Gibdos. Gibdos. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. You have definitely gotten older. I want to master this power so I can use it and defeat the Gibos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of the sand shroud and search for Zelda as well. Link, will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me... Aim my lightning strikes. Fire one of that dummy over there. Riju! The Gerudo leader. She once fought by Link's side astride her trusty and sand seal, Patricia, to save the Gerudo desert. She became chief at a young age following her mother's death, so she works hard to prove herself. Focused on saving her home from a new threat, she's delighted to mastering her newly discovered lightning powers. There we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. A moving target. <laughs> Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we can hit them with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of all three. Like, right around where that rock is just that. Oh, but keep in mind that the further away a target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. Okay. Okay. There. Nope, not quite. Okay, I need to be a little... I'll wait for it to go. Oh, I didn't even hit the third dummy, too. Yes! I'm getting the hang of it now. Oh, yeah. 
The Gibos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh? I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. So am I gonna have to get... Oh my god. Wow, we're just bumping right into it, huh? What was that? Mm. Didn't sound like any noise the sand shadows made. That's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... <gasps> Chief! We've received word that a swarm of gibos are attacking Karakara Bazaar. Bularia is already on her way there. <clears throat> She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. <clears throat> Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's show those gibos what we're made of. I like her! Let me open up that chest first. Knight's bow. Let me. I swear to God, if I need to take a picture of this dummy, okay. At least I don't have to, but. At least the good news is, I have this. Oh, all those cheeky bastards. Actually, hold on. I think that is a Gerudo Town right there. Oh, but you can't see where you're at on the map, so that's the problem. Somewhat close to uh, to the town. There's another shrine down here that interesting. Up we go.
Oh. Took a picture of these before, but I never bought them. Zap shrooms. I mean, I probably could just teleport over there, but where's the fun in that? Oh, they have weapons stuck into them. That's interesting. What's that over there, I wonder? All right, I'm going to assume I'm heading towards the shrine there because that's where we got to go. Oh, God. A Mulduga. It's hard to tell. Let's just fast travel, because fuck it. Yeah. Uh, don't let anyone give those get close. Uh, help doesn't arrive soon. Ah, yeah. Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now, and we're going to wipe all the gibbles out at once. Follow me! Link, don't let me down. This monster stand no chance. A strong warrior who guards Chief Riju. She is familiar with Link from his previous visits. Was she? Was she there in the first game? I thought that was someone completely different. Yeah, it might have been her. One guy said her giant claymore deters most troublemakers. Her concern for Riju is one that one of the few things that softens the stern demeanor she shows. She sh so shows to show soldiers.
Nice. Can I get all those rib cages? Cause that'd be great. Bulyara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. Is that Zelda? Zelda? <laughs> Yeah, that's a shrine over there. That's bad. Real bad. Gerudo Town is in danger. Zelda, wait! Nah, that's my that's not my girl. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Gibdos. Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. I want... I mean, I kind of hope that I do have to get like a... Oh, now it's warm. I kind of hope that I do. That's fireproof, so I'll be fine. Oh, God. Wait, what? Give go guts, yummy. There we go, that's how I can get up. I honestly thought about, like, you know, I could just ride the tornado, right? Couldn't I? But I didn't think of that. Oh, come back, you little sand seals, you little flubby bastards. Hi, are you gonna let me, let me in? Oh my god, they'll let me in. <laughs> what do you think of this? Pretty great, am I right? It was all my idea, too. Who else would think to attach a fire fruit to a spear? Oh, I can feel a fighting spirit yearning to be unleashed with this hand. Oh, I guess since it's not, like, you know, livable.
Oh, I, our, her dungeon's probably, uh, the lightning dungeon's probably in the <laughs> bottom again. In the depths. Look, Link. It's a Gibo hive, just like the one that appeared near Katakara Bazaar. <laughs> Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have slow, shown up at the same time, too. It's not only the one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attacks. But when they open and begin releasing Gibos, they're vulnerable. The Gibos won't wait outside our walls forever. <laughs> so when the, they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Which is now, huh? Uh. Huh? Come. Hey! Come. It's Urbosa's voice actress. It's, 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 it's um, Elizabeth Maxwell? Something like that? I can't remember. Uh. Again, you heard it, didn't you? Oh my god, she looks exactly like the statue in there. Come. Is it calling out to us? Mm -hmm. Hey, you Link, is something the matter? I thought... It's nothing. <laughs> Link, for now we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. Reach of Gerudo Town. I received an unsettling report from Bulara today. A strange haze, some have called it a gloom, is emitting from beneath Hyrule Castle. Those who touch it fall ill. But my friends Link and Zelda are in Hyrule. I'm sure that those two can get to the bottom of this problem. A new, much more worrying report has arrived. Both Link and Zelda have gone missing while exploring below Hyrule Castle. Shortly after they were lost, the castle lifted up into the sky, where it was also joined by countless small floating islands. So much happening all at once. What's going on in the world, and are those two safe? Things grow more and more dire across Hyrule, and now the danger has come here as well. A sand shroud, the worst sandstorm in recent memory, has covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. We traveled out to see if we could discern, discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by a new monster called Gibbos. To make matters worse, I wasn't able to accurately hit them with the lightning I can call down. We're in, inaudited with those seeking safety. We're in, inuated. Uh, the Sand Shroud or the Gibdos, and we still don't know what has caused this. As Chief Guerrero Town, I am to blame for these failures. The fortifications protecting the shelter are strong. There's no way the monsters will be able to break through. We're also lucky to have a good source of water in the shelter, but we must watch for invaders trying to use the waterways. And as a precaution, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Sitting here feeling sorry for myself won't solve anything. I'm going to leave Bolora in charge of the shelter and go train. The rest of the north aren't too far. They should be perfect place for me to practice my lightning. Despite my worries for my people and for the world, I must do what I can. I know that's what Zelda would advise me to do. Ole Urbosa, if only you were here with us. Watch over us uh, all in these dark times and keep Zelda and Link safe. Aww. Hey, there we go. Another shrine. Alrighty, what's this one? Bury the light. Bury the light deep within. Can 
across the side. There's no coming home. Just want to make sure. Bye. And Guster. Oh god. <laughs> and that's the treasure. I guess I could have just brought the... whatever.
Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to reflect it from down there. you This isn't going to work, right? No way this is going to work. Okay, well, I didn't think so. Yeah, let's just, you know, play devil's advocate here and just out of pure curiosity, let's just say. If I don't need to actually keep the light, then this will be fine. If I do have to keep the light, then it's a problem. Oh, I didn't have to keep the light, so it's all good. I'm an idiot. Oh, well. All right, um, so there's that. Oh.
It's like barricades. That's right. The West Gate. I honestly don't know. I'm doing something here. Oh. 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 Ah. Oh. Maybe I could go talk to everyone else and give us like a little bit of a barrier for everyone and then me and Riju will take care of the towers and everything so then take those in case I get I don't want to say yelled at but eh? you look like you're worried about the barricades okay you? Oh. Oh. Send the spear troops oh. to the west gate. Gate. They have ah. fire stuff. Oh. Oh. Okay, near to the north. Oh. Is this a well? <laughs> it's you, at long last. You, the Vo reading this letter, are the Vo I was fated to meet. And I am the Vi you were destined for. You must certainly rescue me. I am locked away from the outside world. Do not worry, though. I will send all of my love to you until the, you come and find me. Stay safe and know that we will meet soon. It is our destiny after all. Yep, it's the same one. Okay. Wait, I think that's a different name, though. No, I think it's the same name, so...
Alright, what's this about? Uh. What? What do you want? I'm I'm busy right now, okay? I need to make sure that both my dreams here's what my feelings for him. I gotta probably focus with positive energy or put bombs in the wall while well, this guy's loaded uh. in here. Poor Stella left. Sava. Sava. Ah. Oh, you must be the Vo everyone's talking about. Say, are Harley and Vo interested in archaeology? It would surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself. After much work, I finally deciphered these Stella. Eh? Do you want to hear what's written on them? You do, don't you? Ah. If you insist. <laughs> First up, the Stella here on the left says, The seven heroines who protected the Gerudo, their secrets will be expressed on six... Stella. Stella. <laughs> As for the Stella over there, on the right, it says, The seven heroines who protect the Grudo in eight channels and guides the power of those sevens. Hmm. I tell you know this, being a Hylian Vo, but we Gerudo have believed in the heroines of, for a long, long time. Ah. They are said to have protected and guided our people in times past. Unfortunately, I found little in the way of the documentation about the heroines themselves. Mm. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these Egonamic figures. Some argue for reviving all seven as a collective, and others for worshiping each one as an individual. Certain rabble rousing contarians even claim there were not seven but one or eight. There is one thing scholars love, it is arguing with each other. Eh? But these Stella def definitely support the theory of eight. Oh. An incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop here and rightfully say that I changed the face of archaeology. I found the other four Stella. Who knows what else I might learn about the heroines. I wonder too about the orb that I found while searching for Stella. Is it connected somehow? <laughs> if I gave a presentation on this, I'd have to be the star of Archaeology Society. Mm. But I've not been able to find any Stella besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. <sighs> How I wish I could text inscribed of those Stella. Even just a picture would serve my purpose. Okay. You, you're a real Vo, right? I am indeed. Really? Are you telling the truth? I learned in the class that all Vo like to lie, though. Hey, Kalani, you better not be talking to that Vo. Why don't you follow Makuri's example? Be more like your sister. <laughs> it's fine. I haven't made eye contact, so it's all fine. Mm. What does that even? Ugh. Mm. Hey, Vo, we can really have a saying. For young Vi, speaking with a Vo will only invite misfortune. Mm. Vi learned that at an early age. So even though you're allowed to be here, please leave the young ones be. Okay. Hey, give me your heart. Is, am I starting on the second? Uh, no, 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 I shouldn't. Because every time I had something that gave me an extra heart, I still had it on that first row, so... Probably still gonna have it on that first row then. But that should be in my last one then. What is that? Like, be like 20? My 20th heart? Sapphire circuit, ruby circuit, amber earrings. Well, wait a man. Uh -huh. Must be that man I meant, I mean, Bo, that everyone's talking about. It's so unusual to see a man here. She really did get special permission to be in here, huh? All of a sudden, you should still be on your best behavior. You don't want to end up thrown out or in jail. That would normally happen when men come here. <laughs> like, what happened to that guy over there? But I don't think you have anything to worry about as long as you behave. <laughs> anyway, this is important. Since you've been able to go out in town, you absolutely have to try the spa plan at... Hotel, Hotel Oasis. In another place, Roma has a special technique that is all the rage. Everything I was just another customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked. Now I work here as an assistant. Uh -huh. <laughs> Saw a plan that Olu offers is reasonably priced and a good option, too. Well, just keep in mind that it's discounted for a reason. I don't think the results are guaranteed. Alright, is this the spa?
So, oh. this is the jail. Even though you have special permission to be Guru Town, it still won't let you pass this point. Really, the only way to the jail is to break our rules. Bill are normally not allowed inside our town. The one in jail broke that ru rule, so he's locked up. Even though you have permission to be here, if you break the rules, you'll join him in jail. I have to, because there's a thing in there. Some of us been locked up in jail. Oh. oh, yeah, the one that used the sand shroud to try to sneak into town. Mm -hmm. What about him? Mm. A little while ago, I went to grab something from that shelf over there. And while I was standing there, I swear I heard someone say Aqualette. Huh? I've heard Aqualette before. I think that's the name of Peridra's Vivi. Mm. No, the jail is just on the other side of the wall. The wall behind the shelf, I mean. Mm. I've been wondering if Maybe it's Pedro's husband locked up in there. Mm -hmm. If that was the case, Pedro would have realized it by now, though. Wouldn't she? Uh. She's working at the Gerudo Secret Club, so she's not in the shelter. Maybe that's why she hasn't heard. <sighs> Unless everyone has been avoiding contact with this Vo, including me. Have you been in here? I recognize you. I've seen you walk around out there. Don't understand. You're a man, but they let you just come and go wherever you like. It's no secret that Gerudo regularly enforced their law that forbids men from entering the town. So how come you're able to just walk around without causing a fuss? I mean, I barely crossed the threshold between town and desert. Threw me in jail. Fast as I can say, no wait, not jail. They didn't give me a chance to explain anything at all. Just want to see the face of my wife, Perda, and our daughter, Aklet. What? I'm only telling you this because you seem like a trustworthy sort. I've actually seen my daughter a few times, so no... So on average, I'm more than ha happier than upset. Even though know, they have me in this jail, I do see her occasionally. However, I haven't seen my wife even once. I know she was planning to work at a clothing store in Gruo Town, but that's all I've got. I'm sure my daughter could tell me more, but I haven't been able to talk to her yet. Perdra, Ah, Colette. I know we'll be together again soon. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> no, if a male Gerudo is born every 100 years, like... Whatever happened, like, what happens to that Gerudo? Oh. Hey, Persia, you made sure the entrance was really securely blocked, right? <laughs> yep, it's very much completely blocked with a crate. No. Keep it down. What do you think's gonna happen if those monsters out here hears us? Must be a way I can get down there via the well. Let me put like a. Let me put like a thing right there so I know. It's more so a little forward, but. I think these are different rocks.
Hmm. Nope, not that one. Let's try here. What's up? Client list check. Products check. Hmm? Uh, a bow? But the door's blocked. How did you... Never mind. It's our rule not to pry into the business of our customers. They'll come in our shop, no matter how you manage to make it inside. Oh. This is a Gerudo Secret Club. The only shop in town that sells clothing designed with Vo in mind. Considering Vo aren't allowed in town, I'm sure you can understand why the shop is a secret. Anyway, that's how we run our business. We're not concerned with who you are. As an outcast myself, I appreciate your business. Sava, sava. Elsewhere, it might be Sava da or Sava Squa, but here it's always Sava. Sava ba. Oh. Sure. Excuse me. Oh. I was not expecting Vo to suddenly appear right before my eyes. It nearly made me jump out of my skin. Should sure, thank you, though. I had a crick in my back, but the shock of your arrival seems to have fixed it. <laughs> my husband is a highly in Vo, too. Imagine if he'd been the one suddenly appearing, but obviously he isn't allowed into town. Since it's customary for Guru to return to town at a certain age, our daughter and I moved back here. Mm. I warned my husband several times that Vo were not allowed inside the town and were sometimes jailed, but he only sits on traveling with us all the way here. And I saw him eyeing the town walls when we parted ways. Wow, Bean. I wonder what you're up to now. <sighs> and once you're done shopping, you better get out of town before any of the guards catch you. Oh, hello? Snow boots? Oh. Oh. Sand boots. Oh. Oh. Most business their own. Uh. No, I. Okay, well, whatever. I was like, your husband's jailed, but it's whatever. Let's go talk to Riju and do the attack. Ah, yeah, but I'm doing it just like this. So it seems like we don't have to do the, uh, I mean, I, I'm somewhat, at least for now, but maybe afterwards we'll be like, sorry, all the rules are back to normal, only females are back in. So then I can get, like, uh, thing. Unless they do, like, ah, you, there's an exception for you, so. Hmm. Sounds shot of the sudden appearance of the Gibos and their hives. Strange events have been happening one after another. And we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere near, around Gerudo Town. <laughs> There's something bigger going on, but for now, we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Borla and the soldiers to help us organize our defenses. Okay, well, I already did everyone else oh. but you. What's the plan? Oh. Talk to Captain Tekken and Yard, work with her to decide how best to deploy our forces. I did that already. 
Pada's in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Did that already. Oh. Tell me about the enemy. Mm. He was well encountered in the desert. Do not fall easily when struck. Attacks only seem to dull a blade. But fire attacks as well as later reused lightning appear to be very effective against them. Oh. Rather than relying on the brute force of swords and spears, we should try to explore other ways to damage them. In any case, we learned in the last fight that they are not unstoppable. That is enough to give us hope. For the sake of her Gerudo, nothing can happen to her. Got it. Hmm. They are. At least, I hope so. Link, I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but Huh? I'm gonna take a picture of your weapons. <laughs> Situation report. Large number of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we'll have need to deal with this. Well, they have the town surrounded. Stay strong. This threat is only an also an opportunity. Fight well, and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hi in one battle, hives and all. Yeah. Prepare yourself for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Ooh. Everyone, protect our chief. Protect our town. Aiming for enemies from the hive near the west gate. Let's hit it with lightning. Line and enemies have been spotted inside town. Did they break through the gate? No! Clear out. 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. That was interesting. Oh? Link, I'm incredibly grateful for your help in the bow. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect the Gibo threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I don't think Gibos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe, maybe they're connected to the sand shroud? Did they make it? Did it summon them? <laughs> hmm. And then there's the voice that you and I both heard. A voice in lightning. This reminds me of something. <laughs> Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural and the underground shelter. Mural. Reed, you have Gerudo Town. Oh, I think that's a... That's a swing right there. No, no pitcher. Another well. But I think I'll take the regular entrance here. Thank you. Fought well against the Gibdos. I'm glad you're all right. It would have been unacceptable for an important guest of Lady Riju, even a bow, to be injured. You may pass through here, get some rest, and recover for after such a fierce battle. Did I destroy this? Link, you came. Look at the mirror on the wall. Hmm. It is thought to be have been painted by ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created, they were also using this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also best by, best beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, hmm. standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars ac across the vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me. I await you. Mm. The mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words remind me of the mural. Mm. The image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraving words are real to discover the location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. Rhinon says, standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. They are. So back to back with the throne. Where that? What the fuck? Can't see anything because of you, but <sighs> standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. 
<coughs> Unite the pillars of light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Hmm. I see like that pillar. Could that be what it meant? Like maybe not an actual pillar, but like a, a spire of some sort. Okay. Yep, I was right. That's one that's over there. There we go. I was like, I hope I find a tornado. Just hope that the n lights are all going to point in the direction that they need to point to. Because I did not see a way I could. Oh, well, this one I have to. Oh, God. Make it easy, of course they couldn't.
But there's no way for me to turn that light over here. I think I just gotta connect these things. Oh yeah, also with the with the one village. I did just like I brought like 14 logs. And that did help, so. Just gotta bring regular like tree trunks. So we'll go to get one more of those when. Actually, like, I guess put it on. That's a shrine over there. I thought that was the other pillar, but I don't see the other pillar anywhere. I don't know if I can get to that shrine. Because I can't turn that one. So this... Oh, and... Well, this is where it's going to end up being. I can already tell. Change my boots for the sand one. There we go. Now I'm actually getting somewhere.
here's the other tower, but... Whoa, that went way too fast. What the hell? Wait, did I somehow... Oh my god, I did it. Unintentionally, I somehow did it. It's the Triforce! Hey, look. It's the place where I said it was gonna be at. When you sh shine the light at each of the ancient pillars, a bright, a bright beam formed a huge triangle. Based on the murals shown in the shelter beneath Guru Town, something sh should have been revealed, perhaps at the center. Ah, there we are. <coughs> Zelda! Link! Hey, Patricia. Did you see that, Link? It's Zelda! And she's gone. Uh. What? She's gone? Alrighty, guys. I think this is a good spot to end this part here. So, that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the next part, guys, we are going to go to the Lightning Temple. I'm actually very excited for this. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. And comment down below what you liked about the video. Didn't like about the video. Let me know, guys, what you think of meeting up with Riju again. I like this. And I honestly like the whole uh, protecting the town, too. I thought that was fun. And I can't wait to see how the Lightning Temple is going to fare. So, yeah. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.